Hi and welcome to Warts and All Wellbeing. Uh, today I'm in the spare bedroom. Uh, the other day I showed you the spare bedroom that had the doors that were being painted and trying to be hung with Andy's suits or hanging in the cupboard. And now I can bring you, oops, around we go. Look at that. Doors painted, beautifully hung as well. So I'm really grateful that we've got that far. They took so long. We took them off and went, oh, that won't take us long. And it's like, you know, a week and a half later, we've still got doors all around the house. Anyway, they're on and I'm grateful for that. So today, what I thought I'd talk about is this whole idea of positive relationships, which, as I've said previously, is integral to all the different wellbeing frameworks. We're wired to connect and they're a really important part of life and our wellbeing. Particularly interested in the work of Jane Dutton, who is a researcher and professor at the University of Michigan. And she does a lot of research around what she has classed as high quality connections. So those interactions that you have, it can be brief, it doesn't have to be deep and meaningful, but just those interactions that you have every day with the people around us, like just, you know, kind of smiling at someone in the street uh, or interaction with someone who's making your coffee or whatever it might be. What she says is that all our interactions are either life giving or life depleting. And I really love that as a concept for me to stop and think about the relationships that I'm involved in. Am I giving life or am I taking away? Um, are they life giving or are they life depleting? I also think it's really important to stop and think about that when in terms of how I'm feeling and how I'm going. So if I'm having a day which is a pretty major wobble, then that's probably not going to be the best time for me to have an interaction that's life depleting. So it might be that I need to be a little bit more choosy about who I interact with and who I spend time with. Obviously, you can't always um, have that. But if you do have the opportunity to choose who you speak to, just remember, just because someone calls you doesn't necessarily mean that you have to answer at that moment um, and it could be that you look down you see that person's name you know it's not going to be urgent and you say you know what right now that's just going to squish all the life out of me and I'm not able to deal with it doesn't mean that in an hour's time or tomorrow that you're not able to go back and you know you'll be more robust and able to enter into that relationship and that connection but just maybe at that time that actually is going to be something that's life depleting for you Sometimes being aware of the distinction between life giving and life depleting as well can help us, you know, if we know that we're feeling down, is there a friend or a family member that you can give a call to who actually you know is life giving, that spending five, ten minutes in their company will actually really boost your spirits and make you feel more alive. Uh, and if there are, you know, even down to my local postmaster back in Semaphore, Matt, he was probably one of the most life-giving interactions I ever had when I lived in Semaphore. Uh, he was at the post office. I would deliberately drive to where he was, even though there was one within you know, 10, 15 minute walk, I would drive to where he was because whenever I walked in, you know, he gave me a whole load of abuse um, and, you know, kind of there was a bit of banter. But every single person that walked into that post office, he smiled at, he knew the names of the locals, he greeted them, he, you know, he bantered with them. And his level of care and attention was just phenomenal. And you'd walk out feeling fantastic. There's a chemist here in Belmont that I love going to in, in Geelong. And I love going into every time I've been in there and I've had interactions with the staff, I walk out feeling like I've been hugged. It's, it's a really weird thing. It's like they give you their attention and you feel yourself being nourished and nurtured. And so those interactions are what Jane Dutton means by when she says high quality connections that are life giving. It doesn't have to be the deeper meaningfuls, but just being around people that make you feel good. If you're not feeling great today and you're having a bit of a wobble, Maybe just stop. Is there somewhere you can go, someone you can talk to, someone you can have an interaction? Like I said, not the deeper meaningfuls, but just some kind of interaction where you know it's going to make you feel good. Another example, shout out to Lloyd at the People's Market again in Adelaide. You know, he just runs this little market of um, fruit and veg. But again, he smiles at you. He makes you feel good. He's got time for you. And you walk away from there feeling uplifted, more so than if I'd gone somewhere else to get my fruit and veg. So finding out those places, those interactions where you know they're going to be life-giving and that you know you're going to walk away just feeling that a little bit better can really help your well-being. And maybe when you're feeling just a little bit better or maybe when you're feeling, you know, not wobbly but up, maybe you can also stop and think about, you know, is the interaction that I'm giving to somebody else uplifting? Is my interaction life-giving? And if it's not, 
maybe just stop and think about what what could I do? Could I smile? Could I say hello? Could I get out of my head and my own stuff and just notice the people around me and have a high quality connection with those people? All right, guys, thanks a lot. Take care. And uh, who knows what will happen? What the latest? I'm looking at the doors. Who knows what will happen in the house later on? Thanks a lot. Bye.